Hey there, I'm Theo Dorsey, host of the Palm Beaches TV Watch Party series. Today, we're celebrating La Dolce Vita in the Palm Beaches, featuring some of the best Italian food in Palm Beach County, Florida. First, Chef Louis Bassi teaches us how to make the perfect Italian pizza. Andiamo! Art adventurers, we are at Elisabetta's Ristorante in downtown West Palm Beach. And today, adventurers, we are going to learn about the art of authentic Italian cooking. Ciao! Hello! Hello. Giorno, Shelly! Thank this you for coming. Awesome. Chef, she is going to teach us all about Italian cooking. We're making some pizza. Are you ready? I'm are ready. You ready. Okay, you want to be my partner? I do. Okay. The man behind the scenes. Louis Bello! How you Boy. doing? Good to meet you. I'm looking forward to learning about a little pasta, a little pizza. We'll show you all our best moves. Shelly, want to eat some pizza? I am ready to eat the pizza. Bring it on. Oh, first you have to make it. Okay. Well. Okay, so we're going to make a pizza. I'm going to learn how to make a pizza. We're going to show you how to make the real pizza margarita. We got a little flour here. Ordered from Italy. And Louie, you're telling me you do not throw the dough. No, we don't throw the dough. Very gentle, very gentle. This dough has integrity. <laughs> nice and lightly, it opens up quickly, and we want to get rid of the excess flour. Beautiful tomatoes, very sweet, naturally. Uh, we're gonna use fresh mozzarella. Very simple, Italian food is very simple. But Sim good. Simplicity. You like basil, Shelly? I love basil. Okay, you're gonna put the basil on. Throw it right on top. Throw it right on there. And then this is gonna bake in the Stefano Ferrara pizza ovens imported from Italy. Let's finish it off with our extra virgin olive oil. And this is gonna bake at 900 degrees. Now you want the pizza to be nice and round because it's gonna go in the oven and cook that way. So the art of making the Neapolitan pizza is, is a very good tradition for us to embrace in the United States because it brings back so many memories of people traveling. So it's tradition that when I teach somebody how to cut the pizza, Louis sings, oh solo mio. Okay. So, ready, Bolo? Are you, you ready? <laughs> okay, so you're going to cut it into six pieces. All right. Stress. Excellent. Aha! Beautiful. You can slide it right onto the plate. It's going to come right off. Wow, you're hired. Woohoo! So, let's sign her up, Louie. <laughs> That's a good job. Thank right? job. you. Look at that bad boy. Mmm, delicioso. Up next, Frank takes us to a place where the trademark sandwiches are almost as famous as their iconic Italian namesakes. From Brooklyn, what brought you here? You know, I just, as a kid, I always loved the weather down here. You know, I got tired of shoveling snow. And, Who doesn't, you know, it's yeah. Just, it's just a beautiful place to raise a family. What's a signature? What's my dish? What am I well, getting? The place is you know, always known for the big, huge sandwiches, the Michelangelo, Bronx Bombers. Wide, wide tall? Wide, big, tall. Okay. Most people can't finish them. You know, we do an all-you-can-eat buffet. Now, what makes it a Michelangelo? Obviously, is it named after? Well, the... all the sandwiches are named after famous Italian, uh, you know, inventors, sure. singers, composers. So, here's what I'm feeling right now. Do you, do you remember watching the Flintstones? Do you remember when they dropped the big ribs on his car and it would tip over? This is what I feel like. Oh, the Who, Brontosaurus burger. The Brontosaurus yeah. burger. Yeah, you're with me. Give it. Yeah. Nice. Prince, Flintstone yeah. reference. Who eats this? How can you do this? Have you ever eaten one? Um, yeah, plenty of times. Yeah, that's why I look like this. Today. <laughs> <laughs> now, wh wh what's the secret? How do I do this without completely making a mess of myself? Just in the grab sandwich? it from both ends and start eating. Are you ready? Oh my God! The taste is fantastic. Yeah, it's a good sandwich. That's why I bought the place. And I love that sandwich. you say you say sandwich. A sandwich. Yeah. Sandwich. It's the right way to say it. Right? That's the only way to say it. The only way. Do you make the bread in house? Yeah, we make the bread in house. 
Really? And, uh, you know, everything is handmade. You know, uh, the pesto my wife makes every morning, the meatballs, everybody loves. That's why you're here seven days a week. This is the place to come, Talia's Tuscan Table. Yeah? Yum. Mm. Manja, manja. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's an amazing sandwich. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean sandwich. Now, let's switch it up and meet an Italian-American man who turned his passion for classic cars into a stunning private car museum with a vintage Coney Island theme. A very special and rare treat for you today on Passport to the Palm Beaches. We are in Cars of Dreams with John Stalupi, the creator, the mastermind, the visionary who came up with this. I've seen a lot of beautiful cars in gorgeous settings, but this is really unique. This is pretty spectacular. How did you come up with the idea to create this wonderful experience for your automobiles? Well, you know, this was my era back then, 50s, 60s, and 70s. And this is my actual third collection, and I'm gonna do one more collection. Every one of these cars in here, run, drive. I mean, if you look at these cars, they're like off the charts, top shelf. I mean, everything about them. And this is kind of special. This is like our Coney Island theme. And if you see over there, those are real bumper cars. And this was my first Corvette here, 1962 Corvette. And I refound the car, and we bought the car back. When we bought the car new, it was only $3,100. Now you can buy this car for $100,000. But when I made the bumper cars, those are all 62 Corvettes, replicas. So the whole theme is about Coney Island, you know, that's a real Carvel, a real arcade, and all the games and stuff in here. So it's kind of neat. It is, it's, it's wonderful, and very few people actually get to see this. It is a private car museum, but you do open up for certain charity events and things like that, which is wonderful. Tell, tell us a little about that. So we'll do a hospice. We do shop with a cop, which is for the highway patrol, and then we'll do with the sheriff's department, where we raise money for children. And you're also a big lover of train sets. You have got a phenomenal train set in there to set up the town. Now, do you physically participate in assembling these? Is that oh, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm involved in everything that goes on in here. Mm -hmm. It's like my hobby. Uh -huh. If I'm having a bad day, I come back here. Just so I don't have to deal with business. I come back here, hang out. You can't not be happy in here. Oh, yeah. Makes me happy <laughs> when I walk in here. <laughs> Big variety of cars here, John. Yes. What are some of your favorites? Well, naturally, the, my first Corvette's my favorite. Believe it or not, that 57 DeSoto. Now, this is a crazy story. When I was a kid, my father was gonna buy a new car, and it was a DeSoto. And if you bought the new DeSoto, you get a kid's DeSoto that would, had a little gas engine in it. Convertible, gold with the white stripe. And I was pleading with my father, please buy this car. This car's great. Look how nice this car is because I really wanted the DeSoto I was trying to convince. So he didn't wind up buying the car anyway, but I kept going there every day and the guy who bought the car didn't want the car. So I said to the people from the DeSoto dealer, well, if I come to work here every day and I clean the cars and I sweep the floors and I do this, and if I do all this work, can I work off to get that car? And I had it, I got the car. And I probably had the car for about three years. And um, I've been trying to find one again because I find them every once in a while. To get a, the mini DeSoto that's out there now, you gotta pay $20,000. Wow. And it's as much as a new car. So I never had the opportunity. But if you look at some of these cars that are in here, that's the real Smokey and the Bandit car. That, it was Burt Reynolds' car. Burt Reynolds came in here, and he signed that car in here. And then we have the Elvis Presley car here, which he bought for Priscilla Presley, which is that red Cadillac over there. That was Priscilla Presley's car. And it was documented and everything, which was her car. So we have a lot of special cars with a lot of things. So those cars I'm not selling. Mm -hmm. They will stay with me, and I'll hand them down to my children and my grandchildren and you know everything along the line. 
truly magnificent vehicles. Now it is a private car museum, but if you're interested in the current collection, you can check it out at carsofdreams.com. So what are you waiting for? Come celebrate La Dolce Vita in the Palm Beaches. Discover just how sweet it is. I'm Theo Dorsey. Visit the palmbeaches.tv to watch full episodes of today's shows and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.